Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a look at Infinix 040 5G. Before continuing with the unboxing, I will read you the specifications of this phone. First, let's take a look at the box. Here on the left side, we have 040, works with GoPro. Infinix branding on the top. On the right side, we have pro-stable video capabilities. This means that the phone has optical limit stabilization. Splash proof, which means that the phone has an official IP rating. And to be exact, the phone has an IP rating of IP54. Corning with the Gorilla logo, it's Gorilla Glass 5. High-res audio and high-res audio wireless. Here in the back of the box, we have the specifications of the phone. The display of this phone is 6.78 inches, it's a 3D curved, 144Hz AMOLED display, it goes up to 1300 nits, it has 393 ppi, it has always on display and as I mentioned it's Gorilla Class 5. The processor of this phone is the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultimate 4 nanometers, which is clocked at 3.1 GHz. The phone started its life at Android 14 and it will receive up to Android 16, so two major updates and as we can see here we have three years of security patch updates. As for the camera, the phone has a triple camera setup on the back with the main center being 108 megapixels with OIS optical limit stabilization. We have a 50 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. As you can see, front and rear 4K vlog, which means that the phone will record up to 4K with 60 frames per second with both cameras, even the selfie camera or the main camera. We see that we have here 45 watt supercharge, 20 watt wireless charge. The phone has a battery of 5000 milliamperes, which can support up to 45 watts of fast charging, 20 watt wireless charging. It has 10 watt reverse wired charging and bypass charging 2.0. For more specifications, you can pause and read the video here if you want to. Now let's continue with the unboxing. I have the version with 24 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. It's 12 gigabytes of actual RAM and 12 gigabytes of virtual RAM. The storage is UFS 3.1. Here we go, works with GoPro. This will be the usual paperwork. We have a SIM ejection tool. Actually, no. This is case. Oh my, this case looks pretty cool. Yeah, works with GoPro. Does it have MagSafe? Yeah also has MagSafe. This is from the previous phone, the Infinix GT20 Pro. Yeah, This case is pretty cool. It has a nice feeling in hand and we also have a glass screen protector. The phone has a curved display so you can see that we have a curved glass screen protector. This is the phone itself. Here we are presented with more accessories. We have we have the Infinix 45 watt charger with a Type A input, and we have the charging cable here inside. Actually, no. What? Wait, what? I've, I wasn't expecting this. We also have... And I was not expecting these guys. We have a set of earbuds with a Type-C input.
this is the charging cable type C on one side and type A on the other now let's take a look at the phone This is the phone, it feels very good in hand, we have a curved display, here at the top we have a speaker, microphone and here on the back we have the triple camera setup with the flashlights, here on the right side we have the power buttons and the volume button, here at the bottom we have the sim tray, the microphone, the type C port and the speaker. Let's check the SIM tray. We have support for dual nano SIMs at the same time. No place for SD card, so no expandable storage on this phone. But it's 512. What do you want more? Let's power on the phone. Select language, English. Let me set up the phone where I will go straight to the menu. Welcome to XOS 14.5.0. We are on the menu now. Let's go to settings and take a look here. I will test the speakers of this phone and the viewing angle shortly. As you can see, we have a new software update, changed functions, supported, select multiple images, with tap in AI gallery, added more always on display styles, added cute pen wallpapers, optimized photography effects of camera, enhance the smoothness running of the system, yeah. I will let that download in the background.
we have auto switch refresh rate we have 60 hertz 120 and 144 i'm gonna leave it at 144 Let's turn on always on display. This is the always on display of the phone. If we swipe from the left side of the display, we see the notifications. If we swipe from the right side, we see the toggles. Now let's open the camera app. I will post some video tests with this phone separately. It will be on another video. We have a lot of options here on AI cam. We can go from the wide angle camera, we can zoom up to 10x. On video mode, we see that we can record up to 4K 60 frames per second. Let's switch it to the selfie camera, even on the selfie camera, 4K 60 frames per second. We have a vlog. Here on vlog, we have some options here, like for example, let's go to leisure. We have camping, fashion, romantic. Here on action, we have dine together, sports, fitness time, etc. We have portrait, we have super night, and more. Here on more, we have time lapse, slow motion, we have dual video. What else? Yeah, we have Sky Shop, Long Exposure, Documents, AR Shot, Pro, Super Macro, Panorama, and GoPro. Let's open YouTube. I want to test the speaker of this phone. The speakers, sorry, because the phone has stereo speakers. Let's go tech. I don't know how you guys can hear it, but I can actually feel the bass vibrating in the back of the phone. Yeah, the speakers are good. Let's check the viewing angles. Let me open my usual video. The maximum, hold on a second, yeah. The maximum video quality on YouTube goes up to 4K and we have an HDR display.
yeah it's an AMOLED display the viewing angles are good yeah this phone will be very good at consuming media because it has some good speakers and a great display Let's hear the speaker one more time. Yeah, the speaker of this phone is very good. Now, as I will do more videos with this phone, I'm going to end the video soon, but before ending the video, let me just try the case for this phone. Yeah. Very good. It feels very good in hand. This case, it's, it's pretty nice. Actually, I have a MagSafe power bank. This one is from Vigor. Yeah. You won't face any problems with the MagSafe accessories. It's like power banks, I don't know, some vents like this one here to cool the phone, or probably some mounts to let the phone stay in positions like this or vertically and before ending the video let me test the flashlights the phone has several flashlights we can tap here on the toggle we have the flashlight here the first one but if we tap at the lower right corner of the toggle we have back and bright it's the other flashlight and we have front as you can see, we have a front LED flashlight. Or we can do 360. So we have the front LED turned on and the back LED. The LED that is on the top left side of the phone is stronger from the other two. So yeah, that was the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.